to Bournemouth. Um, it's a great place to live and work and uh, serve the, the purposes of God's kingdom here. It's known as, a, as the sort of a, the, one of the tourist uh, attractions of the country, a growing university uh, context um, right in the heart of the town centre, which is where the, the, the church building is going to be. We're um, undertaking quite a big construction project. We're talking about a, a thousand seater auditorium with cafe and sports hall and media rooms. It's going to be a, a multi-purpose facility. Oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be very modern. It's going to have all the things that the old building didn't have. At the moment, we're spread across two sites. So this one, um, which is a university building, and one in another part of the, the town. I've actually really enjoyed it because I think it makes us um, think carefully about what it means to be a church. Well, it, it took a bit of getting used to, but now we love this so much that it'll be quite hard to go back, but I, I'm sure we'll all fit in quite well. Stroudon Park Chapel, just two minutes behind us, were, um, were really struggling. Um, and they came to us, asked if we'd help revitalise them, partner with them. And it's the best thing that ever happened here. All of the, the Stroudon Park Chapel people, they just love it here at uh, Lansdowne. We hope to leave a vibrant church here, which is about three miles away from our, our main building. We look forward to it, but I think we're also aware of uh, what, is, what the kingdom really is, not the buildings, but the hearts. Hinkley is a very ordinary market town. We're very local focused Britons. We're a small town and um, it's really difficult to walk through Hinkley and not meet somebody else from TCC. And what we found works here is the old, old ways of building relationships very slowly, building up trust, getting alongside people, sharing Jesus with them slowly. We're trying to create an environment where um, anybody can walk in off the street and not feel uncomfortable. You know, they want to, we want to make it as, as accessible as possible on a Sunday. Our first three or four years were a really encouraging season of totally unchurched people coming to faith. They in turn would then reach their friends, tell them about Jesus and we'd see them come to faith. We've been really fortunate to gain a building in the town centre. It's, a, it's about two miles from here, just in the centre of, uh, of Hinkley. It's a lot of hard work, but you can see it's going to be um, a light to Jesus. It's been used in many ways over the years as a veg place, as a photography studio, and we want to um, make it a church again. In a place like Hinkley, where things often move slowly, having a permanent presence buys a lot of credibility. So for us to have a building where people know we're not just fly by night, uh, we don't appear to be cultish in any way. Uh, it buys us trust, and that's a lot in a town like ours. Buildings don't make disciples. God does that. But here's a fantastic tool to help us do God's work. What we get with FIEC is not only that partnership for me personally, um, through the network that is FIEC, but also we found it very useful on culturally controversial issues to say to people, we're not the only church that believes this.